Yeah, I came here with the boat as uh, the project manager of, of the whole, uh, let's say, special project of uh, Mirpuri Foundation. And um, I've done a lot of uh, Volvo sailing before on Volvo 60s and Volvo 70s. And yeah, now uh, we are doing this crossing with this uh, team. And I'm looking forward, it will be very exciting. It's one of the very short crossings with a uh, like full speed, full throttle. And um, the boat should go quite fast. We are expecting winds of like 20, 25, maybe even 30 knots. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't drop below like 15, 17 knots of speed at all and just keep up like uh, 20 and hopefully be there in about five days. The boat is uh, capable of uh, very high performance. It's, uh, sometimes it's more the question of uh, how, to, how to judge the loads and uh, the material, not to break things. So it is not like in former days, you know, full throttle and just, uh, just go whatever you can. You really have to take care of, of all the loads and uh, just uh, to keep things under control. But with this kind of, uh, of uh, trade wind sailing, it should be, should be easy. The Volvo 70s, they have canting keels, which are controlled by a hydraulic system. And um, to, to compensate the missing keel as a, as a foil against uh, you know, side, side drift, we have uh, the canards or, or decker boards which we always uh, use in uh, upwind conditions and uh, beam reach. In running, usually they are out because there the risk of uh, just drifting aside is very low. And uh, of course, they also create some uh, resistance in the water because they need to work. If they need to work uh, dynamically and, and, and push us upwind, they also need some energy to, to do this. So whenever they are not required, we just keep them both up and uh, just minimize the resistance, the drag in the water. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have like uh, 185 square meters of, uh, of main and uh, up to 500 square meters of uh, Jenaker. So a lot of power going into the boat and, and, and pushing us.